Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is spank that like button before watching this, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Stoic Indifference. Fausto de Campo is the author of this book that teaches you basic mental discipline. They say that a mime is a terrible thing to waste, and so is your mind, especially when you fall in love and put your mental well-being into the hands of a woman. Think for yourself, structure your thoughts, and improve your critical thinking skills. Pick up a copy on Kindle or paperback today. Sponsor link is down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, the boomstick ban for illegal migrants has been ruled as unconstitutional. I guess it looks like the wokesters want to cause chaos. They want the arms of legal residents, but want to arm illegal aliens. Next thing you know, they will hire the illegals as police staff. Citizens are being stripped of their rights while non-citizens are getting them. Looks like there'll probably be a civil war at some point after all. Now they're arming the clowns in clown world. Moving on, we have a woman that hates everything about her boyfriend. But what does she hate? The fact that he's never been anything but good to her. He's the sweetest, most helpful, most generous, perfect boyfriend. Women are bored of perfection and crave drama and conflict. If you want success with women, be good looking but don't listen to them or do what they want then it'll work. Then they'll be happy to stay in the relationship because they're unhappy. Number three, we have Taylor Swift getting off an airplane. Apparently this is referring to the fact that Swift racked up the greatest celebrity CO2 emissions in the world on her airplane. She's a climate criminal, yet they still want you to eat the bucks. Then you get the lamestream media covering her with stories like Taylor Swift and her care of the environment. They only pretend to care about the environment so they can continue consuming more than their fair share. Up next, we have an article from the olden days saying that if a woman needs to be spanked, that she should be. Looks like the guys in the past weren't afraid to apply the old hand to bottom until tears therapy to their tarts. If men said this today, they'd get hauled in front of a tribunal and then sent to prison, where they would get spanked by drop the soap Tyrone Schwing Schwang in the shower. Teddy says a guy spanking his wife might help him to get some of the respect he lost. Number five, we have John and Yoko waiting for a maid to make the bed so they can continue protesting against the system in 1969. In reality, they are the system that they're protesting. Passport bros say you go to Japan where you'll find a good woman there. But just look what happened to poor old John Lennon when he did that. I guess they didn't technically stay in bed either. Gee, I wish I could be a rich activist too. This is so brave of Yoko and her pet simp. Moving on, we have Chris, a single father of three, with another one on the way, looking for a woman with her own car to drive around his kids. She also must cook and clean, be submissive, and have her own source of income with no children of her own. You might as well just change the name Chris to Christina, and it would be perfect. For women, this isn't a deal that they're willing to accept, yet there are actually millions of simps that will. Simps need to actually man up and say no. Number 7, Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, wants to create harmony by getting the native English population to learn Arabic. He wants them to learn and accept their culture. How about Arabs coming to the UK learn English instead? London stand is becoming a caliphate quite quickly, and Arabic will be its official language. I think this is the first time in history that a country's been conquered by beggars and thieves from overseas. This was the mayor of London 20 years ago, protesting the imprisonment of jihadis. Up next, also in Britain, this lawyer was sued after saying that only women have periods. People laughed at Jordan Peterson when he warned the world of coming pronoun loss. But who was this woman sued by? Men, perhaps. When truth is a crime, it looks like it's revolution time. Either that or meteor time. She was also careful to say that she was only expressing the belief that only women menstruate. Looks like even if you turn facts into beliefs, you're still not safe. Number 9, according to a new study, sunbathing for just one day increases your risk of heart disease. Well, then how are you supposed to get your vitamin D? From Costco, perhaps. Looks like someone doesn't want you to boost your immune system naturally. Plus, your immune cells require sunlight to function correctly. Why do you think that people get less sick during the summer? Maybe the people behind this study are also trying to cover for Pfizer. Who knows? Moving on, Isa Gonzalez says that she's missing out on movie roles because she's too pretty, and that she's thought about shaving her head to make herself less attractive, and that that would get her more work. I don't know about that because whenever I watch movies today, all I see are beautiful women like this one. Gonzales is just gaslighting us and can't compete with the magnificence that is this. 
I think she's not being cast because she's not as talented or beautiful as Zendaya here. Number 11, a woman is bitter because her husband told her kids that the reason their relationship ended was because she was the one that was cheating. Now the kids won't speak to her. She's now wondering if she should deny this story or take accountability because she wants them back on her side. Women tend to be allergic to accountability, but in this case, the only reason she might actually take it is to get control of her kids again. It's just fake accountability. Hopefully she never gets them back on her side ever again. Up next is Base Putin while meeting Angela Merkel in 2007. He brought out his Labrador Retriever in front of her, and she has a phobia of dogs. Look at the look on his face compared to the look on hers. Later, she was pissed off and said that Putin did this to prove that he's a man and is afraid of his own weaknesses, that Russia has nothing, no successful politics or economy. Well, Russia has all the energy that Germany needs, and Germany wouldn't have an economy without it. Besides, a Labrador Retriever is one of the most peaceful dogs out there. Number 13 is Rena, and she's glad her partner doesn't have other women around him. But she also wonders why other women aren't interested in him. She doesn't want to be fighting for a spot that no other woman wants. Women are natural followers of the herd. They only want a man because he has status or because other women want him. They generally tend to be like moths with memories drawn to a flame. Women generally want two things. What other women want and more. They always want more. Moving on is a woman that says she's not a bad person. She just wants her fiancé to get rid of his five-year-old daughter. The guy's a single dad and his wife passed away and he's her only parent. She's not the stepmother type, so she wants his daughter gone. She wants the kid to live with her grandparents or for them to find a nice couple to adopt her. I hope that someone finds this guy and tells him to call off the wedding. I believe this story because we often hear single mothers only willing to date men without children. But if you bring up their son Aiden, he's their world. Number 15, there's a new documentary called Shattering Glass about the women's basketball league. Someone says that the only glass they'll be shattering will be in the dishwasher. I take offense to that. Mostly men design dishwashers, and they don't break dishes. They're more likely to break them in the sink. Someone asked a couple of days ago why women have smaller feet than men, and the answer was so that they could actually stand closer than the men to the kitchen sink while washing the dishes. Up next is Ayn Rand, and she's one of the great thinkers of the 20th century. She said that the smallest minority on earth is the individual and that those that deny individual rights cannot claim to be defenders of minorities. It's true, but minorities are useful idiots to the tyrant-seeking power. The individual is an even greater threat, so they get the two groups to fight each other long enough for them to take power. Number 17, we have Pearl Davis saying that if women initially reject you, but then later want you, that means you aren't their choice number one. I would say don't chase women. Chase success, and women will end up chasing you, and you'll have to beat the horny women off with a shoe worn. Unfortunately for many guys, if a woman comes with two good reasons, they'll have no problem being number two or three or even higher. Moving on, speaking of a hard choice, would you prefer a small top and a dump truck down there, or big jugs and a small hiney? This is the eternal argument. I'm on team milk. But I think that if she doesn't actually have many milkers, you can buy them for her. Then you can have both. For half the guys out there, they don't even get this choice. For them, there's a 400-pound hand beast in the middle blocking their path, telling them neither type of women are interested in you. Number 9, how do you guys feel about women proposing to you? I think this one is just trying to trap him before he gets away. Even if he accepts, she'll end up presenting the fact that she was the one that had to do the proposing and won't let him forget it. The bouquet is also bigger than a swing swing. Tell me you're into getting pegged without telling me. I get the feeling that eventually she'll be divorcing him. Up next, Google was announcing that it's going to basically disable ad blockers on Chrome version 127. Mr. Obvious mentioned this and how Google is killing itself. The only place left to go now is the Brave browser. Google is like a poor person going through their sofa looking for change instead of innovating. This is a sign of weakness and not strength. The tech ETFs have been dumping Google shares lately as well. Not looking good for them. Number 21... How do you make a woman mad in four words or less? I would say please lose some weight. Others have said things like, Your sister's better. Your body count matters. Just calm down, honey. Make me a sandwich. My ex called me. You never gagged before. Here, sign this prenup. Take some accountability. You look old. It's just your period. 
single mothers are cancer, and of course my favorite, it won't get hard. Moving on, women need to realize that a high-value woman is a virgin. Aged 18 to 22, beautiful, feminine, and thin. But soy society has brainwashed women to think that a 30-plus boss bitch with a high notch count in cats is high value. Men value inexperience in women, and women value experience in men. I.e. other women were with him before to prove that he has some sort of value. Number 23, finally we see a single mom that won, and didn't have to pay the toll. Unfortunately, she never got to see him in power. We may think we know a lot about Obama, but why do people keep saying his kids aren't even his? And that Sasha and Malia are actually the kids of Anita Blanchard and Martin Nesbitt. You know, a simple DNA test made publicly would silence all the critics. Up next, we have a Texas high school teacher that banged 24 boys after buying them vapes and booze. She was arrested after her mom turned her in. This is the second African-American teacher I've seen doing this. Looks like the diversity, equity, and inclusion is finally starting to pay off for minority teachers too. It's called sex, but I wonder what it would be called if a 24-year-old male teacher did the same to his female students. Number 25 and the last one, we have a sad excuse for a human being that said she failed as a girlfriend, failed as a daughter and as a friend, but will never fail as a mother. Well, what do you know? She failed her newborn twin sons by ending them. It happened almost two decades before she was arrested. She probably had more kids since then too. At least her red hair matches the color of hell where she'll eventually be. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a thumbs up to help it reach more viewers. If you want the memes I can't show you on YouTube, then subscribe over on my X account. Also, I make these for free, so donate what you can at the PayPal and subscribe star links below for more content like this. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.